So you're thinking about moving to Olympia, Washington? Well, don't even think about it without watching this video first. In this video, we're gonna share with you some of the some of the areas, some of the schools, just kind of give you the lay of the land of the whole Olympia area. And, uh, and then you'll be able to decide which area makes the most sense for you. So if you wanna know everything about moving to Olympia, Washington, stick around. We're gonna cover it in this video. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Scott with OlympiaHomeSource.com, and thanks for uh, watching our video here. Do me a favor, uh, if you if you are in the Olympia area or planning on moving to the Olympia area, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below. Leave us a comment. Let us know. Do, we, do you have any questions that you want answered uh, just about the Olympia area? Is there anything in particular you'd want to share? Uh, again, whether you live here or whether you're moving here, uh, maybe a maybe a place that you think we ought to cover or a video any questions you might have hit that subscribe button and while you're at it also hit that bell for notifications and uh, leave us a comment let, let us know what you think so uh, as i said in this video we're going to talk about uh, just giving you kind of the lay of the land uh, in the olympia area just if you're planning on moving here maybe you're not really that familiar with it so without further ado let's just jump right into it i'm going to uh i'm going to share my screen here get all this zoom stuff out of the way. And we're just going to give you a little bit of a map walkthrough here. All these toolbars and everything out of the way. So hopefully you can uh, see my screen okay here. So we're going to start out with uh, with just, you know, good old Google Maps here. I still have something in the way. I'm going to move this down here. Okay. So we're just going to give you just a little bit of the lay of the land here. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, the Pacific Northwest, we call it. As you can see here on my screen, this is what we call Puget Sound. It's the little, the little inlet. Uh, everything is uh, uh, Puget Sound is just very, very um, prominent in the area here. Whether you're in Olympia, Tacoma, Seattle, a um, lot of uh, a lot of commerce comes through Puget Sound. A lot of a uh, lot of great things to do in Puget Sound. A lot of fishing and boating and that kind of stuff. So if you can see here, Olympia is located kind of down at the very tip of Puget Sound here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Oops, hold on a second. So we zoom in a little bit here. You can see Olympia right down here in this area. And really uh, Olympia is, is kind of broken up into three towns. Um, well, I shouldn't say it's broken up into three towns. There's, there's three towns. It's, it's kind of like a tri-city type of thing here. So you've got Olympia. This is the kind of the downtown area. And uh, it's right on the water of what we call Bud Inlet. You'll notice there's little inlets, the little fingers that stick out here. These are all little inlets. And this is the Nisqually Reach, which is, is a really cool wildlife refugee right down here. But you can see we've got, we've got Olympia and then we've got Tumwater. I'm having a hard time drawing here. So <laughs> let's try that again. So as you can see, we've got Olympia right here. And then it, it kind of seamlessly goes into Tumwater. And then you've got Lacey right here. So this is all part of Thurston County. But these three cities really kind of all mash together. You know, you, you really don't notice when you go from one to the other. Um, and so we, we kind of refer to them all as Olympia, but definitely Lacey and, and Tumwater are their own cities for sure with their own, you know, unique characteristics and their own city government and all of that. Um, so when people say Olympia, they might be from Tumwater, they might be from Lacey, uh, because Olympia is a state capital. Oftentimes people will say I'm from Olympia or the Olympia area. The other thing I want to point out just map wise is, uh, the proximity to Fort Lewis. So if you are maybe in the military and you're, you're thinking about, you know, you're getting transferred to jo joint base, Lewis McCord, um, there's some things to know here. You'll notice, you'll see I-5. I-5 typically runs north to south all the way from, you know, California all the way up uh, up into Canada, but it kind of runs, you know, northeast through the Olympia area, and then it gets back to, to northbound here. But I-5 is kind of the main corridor here. And so one thing to point out, if you are getting uh, maybe transferred to Fort Lewis, which the, the, the main entrance is right in this area, you've got a couple of options. DuPont is a great option. It's very close to the base. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit partial uh, down here to Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater area, especially Lacey. 
Uh, we, I, in fact, I, I often work with military families uh, and they a lot of the time end up buying in Lacey area. It's a much easier commute to go from Olympia, you know, going this way here along I-5. You start going up north of Fort Lewis, you're going to get into a lot more traffic here in the, uh, in the Tacoma corridor. And obviously, the further you go north up to the Seattle area, you're even going to be getting into more traffic. So if, um, if Joint Base Lewis-McChord is something that you're considering, you might really look strongly at the Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater area because you're going to find less traffic. Now, there is traffic, especially on Fridays, but it, it is a lot less. And so just, just kind of some things. Uh, just to point out again, the lay of the land that, you know, the Capitol building is going to be right kind of in this area. Uh, we've got the, this, this whole area here is kind of considered the downtown quarter corridor and just the lay of the land. Again, we've got I-5 running north and south right here. And then we've got Highway 101 veers off. And this goes over to over in this area is what we would call uh, West Olympia or the West side. We refer to it. You, you may or may not have heard of the Evergreen State College. That's up in that area. But this West side, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, and, and on this side of it here, we're actually more into the Tumwater area. This up here on the other side of 101 is more of what we would call West Olympia. So when you're looking at it from a map view, kind of that uh, that highway 101 this little this little y shape right here kind of orients you orients you in, in in the map of where you're at in the Olympia Lacey Tumwater area I actually live right about in this area right here up on what we call Tumwater Hill okay so I'm very very familiar with this area um, so just a little bit more lay of the land here um, obviously the further you get out, the more rural it gets, especially as you go south. So you get down into here, Delphi, Little Rock, Maytown, uh, East Olympia, you're going to have more rural areas. Um, another thing to point out too, uh, just as far as the map goes, uh, and back to Fort Lewis is another thing you might want to check out is Yelm. Yelm is a little bit more rural, but it is definitely an up and coming area. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of newer homes that are coming into, air, into the Yelm area. The, the nice thing about the Yelm area, too, is it's, again, proximity to Fort Lewis, because if you are in Yelm, you can go the back way here through Roy and up 507. And I think you can catch joint uh, the, the base entrance right on the back side here as your way as you're on your way up to the Spanaway area. OK, so and that's a much quicker trip than one thing about Yelm is that if you are this is this is a pretty long trip. This is probably a 20 minute uh, commute in here to the Lacey area from Yelm. And then you've got to take I-5 north that way. So uh, knowing the roads and being able to kind of get to Joint Base Lewis-McChord from the Yelm area is another thing that you should be aware of. Okay. So uh, up up on the north side here, uh, well, again, we have west the west side here. And the further you get out on these little points, again, more rural, um, you definitely get some nicer homes uh, there, but there really is a you know, there, there, you'll get some nicer homes and then you'll even get some mobile homes and stuff out here. So this area, this is called South Bay. Um, this area, there's definitely some nicer homes on some bigger lots. Um, you, it's kind of a mishmash of stuff there. Um, Lacey, the further you get out um, to like Kelly's Corner, again, more of a definitely a rural area, some bigger lots, but some really nice uh, little, little developments in there too. So just kind of being aware of that. And then the further you go out, You've got, uh, you know, McClary out towards, uh, you know, Shelton and stuff out in this direction. So that's just kind of a general lay of the land. And, it, and, I've, and I've done this on other videos. One of the great things about uh, Olympia is that you do have, um, there's, there's a lot to do recreational wise. Um, it, it's a really neat drive to go out here to, you know, the Ocean Shores area. It's probably about an hour and 20 minutes from Olympia to the ocean. You've got ocean beaches all up along here. Got some just beautiful, beautiful scenery. We got Westport is a really neat uh, town to go to. Uh, Long Beach is even a little bit further south. So there's some really neat beaches. Now, now beaches in Washington State are a little bit different than uh, what you might imagine in, say, California or something like that. So be aware. There used to be an old Henry Weinhardt's commercial 
Um, and that was a local brewery. I don't even know if they're still around. I haven't heard of Henry Weinhardt's in a long time, but they had a, uh, they had a, the picture uh, that was a TV commercial about Washington beaches. And these two guys were out there and they're fully dressed up and it gets windy on the Washington beaches. And they had a beach ball and they were trying to, trying to throw it up in the air and the wind kept, kept uh, catching the beach ball and, and blowing it away. So it's, it was kind of a joke on how Washington beaches are, are not. Uh, and then they see a couple girls uh, up, up the beach a little ways. And, and one of them says, Oh, the hotties are coming out or something like that. So I don't know if you've uh, ever seen that commercial, but it's probably on YouTube somewhere, but it was, it was always funny because it's a very good indication of uh, what Washington beaches are actually like, but Hey, in the summertime, they are beautiful. Um, one thing I love to do is to go uh, clam digging. And so you can go clam uh, mo uh, Mocklips and Kapalas beach down here. Great places to go cam clam digging. Quinault Lake, beautiful area to go to. Uh, up here on the peninsula, the Olympic National Park, there's some amazing waterfalls. There's the Ho Rainforest, which is uh, one of the wettest places in, in the United States. Uh, Olympic National Park up here is a really neat, neat place to go. Port Angeles, uh, Squim, those are a couple of, uh, of words that uh, people often mispronounce. Squim, let me see, I'll, I'll point it out on the map here. That's actually pronounced squim. It's often called sequim. Uh, hey, and how about Forks? For those of you that uh, are uh, Twilight fans, Forks, uh, Washington. Although I, I do believe that most of it, uh, not to burst your bubble, was not actually filmed in Forks. I think most of it was actually filmed in Oregon for you Twilight fans out there. Um, you've got Seattle very close by, uh, from Olympia to Tacoma is about 30 minutes, not taking traffic into consideration. And then Tacoma to Seattle is about another 30 minutes. So you got about an hour drive to get to Seattle, um, up the other way. We have, uh, Hoodsport, Shelton, uh, up this way again, just a beautiful drive. My, my daughter and I, uh, last year took a, a waterfall trip around this highway 101 took, took about all day. And we hit about four or five waterfalls, but what a neat, neat, beautiful trip to go on just for, uh, you're looking something to do there. Uh, you've got Bremerton, the, uh, the Naval base is in Bremerton. And so just some, uh, some things to just point out another thing going the other direction. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just giving you, trying to give you the lay of the land here. Uh, we've got Mount Rainier is right here. Mount Rainier is always your built-in compass when you're in Olympia, because if you're in Olympia area, it's pretty much, you can always see Mount Rainier from pretty much anywhere that you're at. It's about uh, 14,000 feet, I believe. And uh, so Mount Rainier is always your compass. You always know that Mount Rainier is, it is pretty much straight east um, from where we're at in Olympia. So what else do we have? Uh, we've got Snoqualmie Pass, the beautiful Pacific Crest Trail goes through here for you outdoorsy people. We've got a Snoqualmie Pass, Stevens Pass, the Pacific Crest Trail goes right down through here, down through Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, and there's many places that you can get on the Pacific Crest Trail. There's uh, the Alpine Lakes Wilderness. I'm getting too many lines here. Uh, Alpine Lakes Wilderness is just amazing. It's right between, so this is the Cascade Range here. And um, so right between like Skykomish and Snoqualmie Pass, you've got the Alpine Lakes Wilderness right kind of in this area. And it is just phenomenal. You guys want to get outdoors and really see some beautiful, beautiful country that's just, I mean, there's no, there's no development or anything up there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that's a kind of a neat thing. What else we got in Washington? This is one of my favorite places, Lake Chelan. Uh, I actually grew up in Chelan. This is uh, Lake Chelan. It's 55 miles long. And uh, Chelan is down here in the at the very base of it. It's a great place to go in the summertime. Lake Chelan is just crystal clear, beautiful. It's a 55 mile long lake. There's a, there's a boat that runs. It's called the Lady of the Lake. It runs up to the north. Uh, there's a little town up here at the very other end of the lake. Uh, called Stahican. And man, you want to have a nice little getaway, go uh, take the Lady of the Lake up to Stahican. And uh, really, really neat. And you can actually access the Pacific Crest Trail through there as well. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's just kind of the lay of the land a little bit. Uh, Chelan's always a fun getaway. It's probably about three and a half hours. Oh, Leavenworth too. That's another one. Uh, Le Leavenworth is one of my favorite places to go in in the Washington, a little Bavarian community, uh, that's a wintertime. Where, where Chelan is the summertime destination, Leavenworth is the wintertime de destination. It's a little Bavarian town. They, they deck it out with lights and have a bunch of uh, 
you know, a, a bunch of Christmas theme stuff going on there. So that's a really, really neat area to go. So that's kind of the lay of the land. So just getting into your real estate wise, you know, how this all can affect you. We've got basically, let's talk, let's talk a minute about school districts here. I'm going to turn the uh, school districts layer on. Okay. And again, if you're trying to orient yourself with the map, remember I said that little Y between there's Olympia, there's uh, I-5 North and South, and there's 101. So downtown Olympia is right here. Over here, we've got more Lacey. And then this area is, is uh, down here South is more Tumwater. Okay. So that almost looks like a person there. Uh, okay. So we've got the, the Tumwater School District is here. And I'm going to put links to these down here. You can, you can do your research on the school. Uh, Tumwater School District goes right here. Uh, and, and that's probably the, one of the main ones. And we've got the Olympia School District up in this general area. Okay. This is all Olympia schools up in this general area. So that's Olympia. I'll put an O there. In this kind of area, it's more North Thurston School District. And again, I'll put, uh, I'll put links to all these in here because you got a couple of different schools from each one of these districts. And then let's see, we've got uh, down here, Rainier, we've got Yelm. Okay, so those are, those are Yelm school districts out in that direction. So the main ones are North Thurston and Olympia School District and Tumwater School District. So those are the main ones. And again, I'll put, I'll put links to these. Oh, you do have Tenino School Districts down south a little bit more, much, much smaller school districts. But the three big ones are definitely North Thurston, Olympia, and Tumwater. So you can decide, uh, just do your research on those. I mean, I, I, great schools. I mean, I, my, my kids go to the Tumwater school district, uh, go to Tumwater high school, very happy with it. Um, you know, the great public schools and there's, there's some really good uh, private schools as well around here. Okay. So those are kind of your school districts. And again, I'll put uh, some links in the description down below. And if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to our channel and, uh, hopefully continue to get useful information here. So let's take off school districts. Let's just talk about some of the neighborhoods. I'm not going to get right down into, you know, too deep into neighborhoods, but I'm going to turn off right now active properties because they are kind of. Okay, so. So downtown. The downtown area, this is the, the historic downtown. Um, you're going to have you know, the south, the southwest side area, you've got right downtown, what we call the historic district. Again, the capital, the capital dome is right in this area. So you get a lot of older, older homes in the historic district, some, some historic homes down there, obviously that uh, if that's kind of your thing. Now, the closer you are to downtown, though, the more, you know, uh, let's be honest, call it what it is. There, there's more crime, there's more homeless uh, in the downtown area here. This is what we call a capital lake right here and right in this downtown area. And it's actually, it's a man-made lake. It's part of the Deschutes river that runs up this way, but uh, capital lake is right down here. Um, the further you get out from the downtown area, the, you know, the less you're going to deal with homeless and stuff like that. So a lot of older homes in this Olympia area, we've already covered as you go North, you're going to get uh, you know, some newer homes, but also some older homes in the Boston Harbor area uh, out in this area. This is what we call uh, Cooper Point. This little guy right here is what we call Cooper Point. So it's very, very nice houses, waterfront houses up, you know, million dollars plus waterfront houses. A lot of waterfront, obviously, in the Olympia area. You can see the amount of waterfront that we have here. So if waterfront's your thing, uh, definitely there's plenty to choose from here. Uh, let's see the further you get out summit Lake. This is a kind of a, a neat little area to point out. Okay. Summit Lake is out in this area, about 20 minutes from Olympia. Some really nice uh, little waterfront houses here. Very, very pretty Lake, uh, water ski Lake, uh, fishing. Okay. So there's some stuff there that you can check out and let's see, uh, Tom water again, all this gray area is, is going to be more, uh, you know, uh, it's been around a while, right? So there's going to be some older homes and obviously some newer stuff uh, in here. One area I wanted to focus on, though, that's really growing up 
is the Lacey area. So Lacey is growing. Okay. This is what we call Hawks Prairie. This is, and, and I mentioned Fort Lewis, this is an area where you, I, I suggest you take a look at, um, they've got a lot of newer properties in this area, probably in the four to six, maybe even $700,000 range uh, on the north side of the freeway. So this area on the north side of the freeway is really growing up. I really like this area. I've sold a, a enlisted a couple of houses in this area. So kind of this area here, Britain Parkway, um, north, north side of Hawks Prairie. Okay. There's a neat little dog park right in here. Um, what else do we got? We've got Cabela's for those outdoor enthusiasts. Cabela's is a big draw. <coughs> Excuse me. So Cabela's is somewhere you should check out, but a lot of uh, neat homes. In fact, let me, uh, let me turn on, I'm just going to put active. Let's turn on what's active and available there. And we'll just see, okay, not a whole lot for sale right there, but here's, you know, 635, uh, neat little house. So this is, you know, this is a pretty typical Northwest house, North, what we call Northwest contemporary, you know, 635,000, 320, uh, 3,210 square feet. Okay. So that's currently listed now, depending on when you're watching this, that home might not still be available, but I'm just trying to kind of give you an idea of what's in the area here. So here's 899, you know, this one's 3,300 square feet. So a lot of newer homes out here. There's pretty cool golf courses out here. The, the, the two woods, we used to call them Vicwood and Marywood. Uh, now it's the Lynx and, and, and something else, but two, two very nice golf co uh, courses right out in this area. Uh, here's a, you know, 469 for 1,500 square feet. Okay, so it just kind of gives you an idea. This is somewhere where I'd, I would definitely check out uh, if you're looking for proximity to, you know, amenities and, and back to the freeway corridor here. You've got, in fact, I'm going to jump back to Google Maps here. They, they show a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back down to what we would call Mushroom Corner. There, there was a mushroom farm there and you you'll smell it when you go by it. Uh, although I heard they're uh, not going to be around too much longer, but there's a lot of stuff. This is that, this is that, that off ramp that I was talking about that brings us to those homes that we were just looking at here, Britain Parkway, Willamette drive on this side of the freeway. There's just pretty much anything that you would need. Uh, I mean, you've got, you've got shopping here. You've got all of your, you know, your fast foods, your Walgreens, you've got a Costco here. There's gas uh, again, just tons of fast food options. The Ram brewery, that's a, Nice little place to go to. Okay, so you pretty much have everything right in here in it, it, around this uh, little area here. There's a Safeway store there, a lot of, a lot of shopping and whatnot. Uh, going down I-5, a little bit more into the heart of Lacey. This is what I would consider the heart of Lacey. Again, lots of, lots of shopping, Target, PetSmart, Michaels, Value Village, Fred Meyer, shopping centers, things like that. Continuing down I-5, now we're getting more into the Olympia area. So here is the Olympia exit. Do you go to the state capitol, which is right here? Okay, uh, so here's your Olympia exit. Downtown is more, uh, you know, a lot of small shops and things like that. There's not a lot of, uh, here's, here's the main historic downtown area. There's, there's not a lot of the big shops. There's a lot more, um, you know, old school pizzeria. There's state and central, a really neat little gastro pub or brew pub to go to. You've got a lot of, uh, a lot of neat little restaurants down here. Bud Bay cafe has been a staple. The Olympia oyster house has been a staple for forever. Uh, Mercado's is a great one. There's another one. Uh, the well 80 brew house. One of my, uh, one of my favorites. Well 80 brew house is a, is a great place to go to. They brew, uh, they brew Olympia beer, you know, basically, uh, using the old artesian water, like the old Olympia brewery used to do. So they even are, are they even have some of the ex original recipes of the Olympia beer, kind of a neat story. I'm going to do another video on that whole thing on the Olympia brewery and how well 80 is connected to, and what is, what is well 80, but we have the artesian wells here. So Olympia is, is a brew town. I mean, it always has been Olympia beer, even though they're not brewing Olympia beer anymore. Uh, you can see you've got artesian wells. You've got our, you, there's, there's a public artesian well right downtown. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it is, it is great water. It is right here. 
I'll put in a little video of that, but the, we have an artesian well right here that you can literally walk up to. And it, depending on the time of day, you go down there and there's people with, uh, uh, you know, five gallon jugs, they're filling up artesian water and they use it. Uh, they, they drink it, uh, you know, they take it home and, and use it and drink it. It's, uh, it, it's fantastic water it comes out constantly running and it just, uh, fantastic water. If you uh, ever want to go down there. Okay. So, uh, again, the Olympia oyster house is something Cascadia grill. That's it, man. That place has some great food. So a lot of really, really good foods, a lot of great Thai food downtown. Um, as I said, downtown, you're going to, you're going to see, you know, some homeless people and stuff kind of wandering around down there. Uh, I, it really, it's getting better. I don't think it's as bad as it used to. Three Magnets Brewery is something to, uh, is to definitely check out downtown. Okay. So there's just uh, a few things there. I'm, I'm leaving so much off. I could spend an hour uh, just talking about downtown. Okay. As we continue up more over to the West side of Olympia, this is a, this is a very busy area. Uh, west side, there's uh, there's what we call the Capitol Mall over here. Okay, it's uh, let's see, Yarago Park. Here's Target. Okay, so this is the Capitol Mall area. I'm gonna turn on the. Uh, there we go. So this is Capitol Mall. Dick Sporting Goods. We've got a really great movie theater here with the reclining seats and everything. There's Ross, Target, Joann's, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, Party City. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff right in this area. Outback Steakout, Panera Bread. Uh, so there's uh, this is kind of the west side. Uh, all sorts of stuff. We got pet pet auto zone, pet stores, men's warehouse. You know, again, all your fast foods, your your Safeways, your all your shopping and everything. So this is kind of the west side. Now this this area can get a little bit congested. Um, you know, because it is such a busy area. And turn those clear those layers a little bit. It does, it, it can get a little bit congested over here, but it's not too bad. Uh, Olive Garden, that's another uh, uh, sure restaurant you've heard of. Okay, so, and then you're going to get a lot of older homes and stuff in this area. But, it, you know, a good area, very desirable area to live in. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Tumwater, let's, let me just kind of zoom in on <coughs> Tumwater here a little bit. Some waters, again, you're going to have a mix of older homes and newer homes, especially up here. Okay, uh, let me turn my thing on here. So this is what we call Tumwater Hill here. A lot of older homes. Okay, these were all, you know, 100-year-old homes. Old for Washington standards, not old if you're coming from the, the, from the East Coast. Uh, and then up here, uh, the, the further we get up, there's some apartments up here. And uh, there's a lot of newer homes up here too, the further you get up on the hill. So a lot of newer homes, a very nice area, very nice views because they call it Tom Water Hill for a reason. This, this area here that I just circled is elevated. And so you can see Capitol Lake, you can see the Capitol, you can see depending on, you know, depending on the day. And if it's uh, too cloudy or not, you can see Mount Rainier, you can see to the North Olympic Mountains and whatnot. Uh, South Puget Sound Community College is right here. And then right above us, we have the Capital Auto Mall, which is this whole area here is, is several, several auto dealers and whatnot. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the lay of the land. Now, if you really want to get serious about looking for homes to purchase, I'm going to direct you to my website at olympiahomesource.com. And then you're going to go down here to the search bar and you're going to type in Olympia Washington. <clears throat> and you're going to search. Okay. And this will show you all of the homes that are for sale. Obviously you can filter down and look, my computer's running really slow because I'm recording. Okay. So you can go over here and you can filter down to, you know, single family homes. You can do property style. Maybe you're looking for just a one story home. You can do square footage, you can do acres, year built, uh, property amenities. So you can really narrow this stuff down and you can even do keyword searches if you're looking for something specific, okay? And then you can save these. Now it's gonna prompt you to fill in your name and email address after you look at a couple of homes. Uh, you know, don't just, just fill it out. Don't put a fake email in there because you'll, you'll get notifications. So my website is a great place to get notifications of properties that are just coming on the market and you can set your, uh, your contact filters and, and, and whatnot. Okay. And you'll get notifications when new properties that match your criteria come on the market. We don't spam. We don't do anything like that. So just put in your information and this is a great place, a great local source to find 
that home that you're looking for. And then uh, you want to uh, go check it out. You give me a call and we go and take a look at it. We get you pre-approved and, and really make it as easy as possible. And uh, so that is pretty much that. Just wanted to give you a little bit of the lay of the land of Olympia here. I hope uh, you found that somewhat valuable. If you're moving here, uh, be sure and reach out to us. You know, we love working with people that are moving into the area. I've been a you know, in real estate, pretty much 30 plus years, I've been in real estate my my entire adult life in one form or another, uh, one form or another. We love working with people that are moving into the area here. We love helping people sell their homes. We do a lot of marketing. We do, you know, we do staging. We do drone photos footage. We do, you know, uh, virtual walkthroughs, and we, we really, you know, help people sell their homes for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. And we help people relocate to the Olympia area. We love doing it. We're passionate about it. And so uh, be sure and reach out to me. All of my contact information is in the description below. And if you haven't already, please like our page, subscribe to it, and uh, hit that little bell so you get notifications when new stuff is coming out. We try and do a video a week. We're trying to do a couple of videos a week here as we, as we kind of get this launched off. And um, we're here to help. So thanks again for watching. I'm Scott with OlympiaHomeSource.com and EXP Realty. And uh, reach out to us if we can uh, be of any assistance on all of your real estate needs. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.